Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the mini reading for the Aquarius for next week. This is a mini love forecast. And um, so this will be for April the 25th and ending um, May the 1st. I'm just going to turn that down a little bit so it won't be so overwhelming. So we're listening to um, a beautiful Sophageo um, frequency. Um, and also water sounds with, and also the, the Tibetan singing bowl. So this is the Om Mantra um, as well. So this is positive healing energy that I'm listening to right now. So what we're going to look at, um, like I said, this is for the next the week coming up. I'm going to look at what's going on currently, what's went on in the past, and, and then the two future cards will be what, you know, will be what we can talk about for next week. So, um... I can already tell that a lot of you Aquariuses are really holding things together because the cards are not falling and flailing everywhere. <laughs> I swear to you, I can tell when something messy is going on sometimes. Especially during a personalized reading. These cards will start flying out, flipping over. All right, so... Currently, you got the emperor. Everybody is getting the emperor. And I and I understand why. Um, because it's mostly women that look at these videos. Let me drink some water. And so a lot of the issues that we've been having in our society has been... Come on, baby. You want water? It's been kind of like the, the energies working against each other and not together. So the emperor has been showing up a lot and he's been saying, hey, look, we need some order. We need some logic. You know, we need to get things into order and that's typically what he does so I can see that this is the current energy surrounding a lot of you Aquarius as I always see the Emperor as a literal person <laughs> allergies guys I have a tickle in my throat okay so the Emperor he is someone that is a very strong father authority figure and he is the head of his household okay the empress sits next to him but she's also behind him um she's on the same level as him but he still when you look at the order of the of the tarot you have the empress and then the emperor so the empress is kind of like behind the emperor okay and then you get the hierophant and then you get the lover so um honey i'm doing i'm, I'm recording yes i'm recording sorry guys so in the past you have the page of pentacles so the page of pentacles depending on the surrounding cards can sometimes be a jerk and I think that that's what you're dealing with and it's what? because of one of the cards what? one of your future cards so I do want to let you know the page of pentacles this is about boredom this is about someone that just starts trouble because they're bored okay They they have nothing else better to do. They probably have a nice wad of cash somewhere, 
because they are the page you know and even though they are below the king and the queen in the courtship this is still an advanced individual okay and when this person starts stuff nine times out of ten they are attacking your money or your love life um, and and they the, I mean the illustration in the deviant tarot deck is some it's it's a person that is walking around with a wrench and there's literally um, bolts and, and <clears throat> nuts and bolts just everywhere where he's just this person is just tearing up so this is a literal person you know this person um, reminds me of the characters in Cruel Intentions um, Sebastian's role you know just kind of somebody that just wants to see your heart broke just because it you know to get their kicks so the six of coins is them either them showing share charity to you or the other way around. And I think that it was you showing charity to them. Aquarius. I think that's uh, I think the page definitely had the ability to take advantage of you in the past. But it's okay because it's I, I think it goes both ways okay because it is the six of coins so it's either a not enough give or take in the situation now in the future you got the seven of wands which is you uh, making your way through this dark forest and you've got nothing but pure luck on your side because all of the damn odds are against you so that's what I'm seeing in this uh, seven of, of wands and it was you that was actually doing a lot of it and this is in the future so I mean what I can take this as and what's crossing it in the future Aquarius is that the seven of of swords you got two sevens so this is a, a message from the angels also so but there is a warning in here now the seven of wands let me just tell you what that means in the end as far as with your love life so this is a competitive situation but this is a reminder that even though you may have some fears, you may have some regular moments of self-doubt, you are going to come out on top because you got the number seven. So the number seven is an extremely lucky number. So you're, you're going to be lucky in love in the future, whether or not it's somebody you're involved with currently or, some, or if you haven't met this person yet. Now, there is a possibility that if you don't take a step back and look at what you need to work on, and it's not changing yourself, but I do get the sense that there is going to be some sort of issue, okay? Now, going back to the Seven of Wands, you just got to make sure that you don't hesitate to speak your mind, okay? It's going to improve it, the relationship, if you just talk to each other. So, you wouldn't believe how, like, so much stuff can get taken care of just by talking to the person now the seven of swords that's crossing in the future this worries me I kind of almost feel as though this is something that you're doing this is about trust okay now there's all sorts of things that I could say, all sorts of possibilities for all Aquariuses, but I'm going to say that it's going to be either you or your partner's inability to trust. So this is the potential this week. Also, this, this lack of trust comes from other competition. That's another thing about the Seven of Swords is that the lack of trust is coming directly from other 
competition, other people that are interested in who you who you want to be with. And it's gonna it's a possibility that that could make you not trust your partner and that's kind of ridiculous because I mean, you want to take things into consideration, yes, but just don't be so impulsive. Don't be so quick because it's a trick. It's 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 a way to 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 trick you into not trusting someone. So it's kind of a double-edged sword in this case, the sevens that you're getting. And there is an angel message that I need to give to you um, before I conclude this reading. So I think for me, the message that I'm going to give to you is, again, like I told Cancer, uh, which I'm a Cancer, is trust is crucial. And don't be impulsive. Don't be quick to stab yourself in the throat because you might open your mouth and say something that you regret. And I think that Seven of Swords is you doing, is 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 actually that because <clears throat> um, in the illustration, sorry guys, I got this tickle thing because I need to put on my humidifier for my allergies, so, because I don't take allergy med medicine. Anyway, the Seven of Swords is a depiction of a person that is doing something that has a lot of potential because it's the Seven. And this person is attempting to do a balancing act, but they're getting ready to stab themselves in the throat because they did not make sure that the, the wire was tight enough. So the string is flimsy. So you want to make sure that your connection and your perception of your situation is the best that it can be because you can allow other people. That's what they do. They create doubt. That's the number one way that people break people up is by creating doubt within that relationship. So... Um, the doubt that you're experiencing is other people who are able to connect with you in some kind of way, whether or not it's mentally, physically, whether or not they talk to you on the phone. Um, and it can cause you to really not be in a good place. Cause I, and I know because I've been there, done that. So the number seven resonates with vibrations of the collective consciousness. So this is about faith and spirituality. Um, this is about spiritual enlightenment, psychic abilities, and inner wisdom. Okay, so you're going to believe anything somebody comes to you. I mean, this is about intuition and esoteric knowledge and introspection. So going back to... Going back to the faith, okay? A lot of people have trouble with having faith. And so if you're single, I can see you really as maybe possibly attracting somebody, but then on top of that, pushing them away by using something within yourself that is, is like a, miscon a misperception of yourself. And it comes out to your partners and it pushes them away. And so the Seven of Swords also points to some sort of betrayal. And it'll feel like it's a betrayal to you. But it's not actually a betrayal. It's what you're manifesting within that relationship. And what you're manifesting in all of your relationships. But I could go on and on about that. And I'm going to go, you guys, make sure that you thumbs up this video. Make sure that you subscribe for my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. Okay? There's going to be a really good gift. And I'm going to do a lot of stuff like that. So you just want to be subscribed. Make sure that you are subscribed. And I will put up a promo video for that. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Namaste.